for joining. Uh, my name's Mark Lohmeyer, and I lead the compute and AI ML infrastructure product teams at Google Cloud. And while it's only been eight months since our last Next, it feels like our product teams have delivered at least two years' worth of innovation since then. We've never seen the types of demands that these AI workloads are placing on our infrastructure. They're increasing in size by 10x per year over the last five years, 10 to the fifth. That's a lot of zeros. Our strategy at Google Cloud is centered around the idea of delivering workload-optimized infrastructure. More and more customers are choosing Google as their strategic AI partner because of our unrivaled expertise across all the relevant domains. Google Cloud AI Hypercomputer is our end-to-end -end systems architecture for AI workloads. It's based on over a decade of experience designing and scaling some of the world's most advanced AI infrastructure and services. Overall, we find that with this approach, we can run more than twice the effective efficiency relative to baseline hardware-only techniques. Based on the strength of our offerings and our strategy, Forrester recently recognized us as the clear leader in AI infrastructure solutions. So since we're in Vegas, voila, <laughs> here is the TPU V5P. Uh, so you get to see it up close in person. Uh, it has uh, two times the flops of the previous generation and three times the high memory bandwidth. You can see the, the TPU chips there uh, on the board. We're pleased to announce that next month, customers will be able to access our latest NVIDIA H100-based instance, A3 Mega. In addition, we're bringing the next generation of NVIDIA's newest Blackwell GPUs, including B200, and Grace Blackwell 200 with NVLink 72 to Google Cloud starting early next year. Next, we're introducing Jetstream. This is an open sourced, throughput and memory optimized LLM inference engine for XLA devices, starting with TPUs that offers up to three times higher performance per dollar on Gemma 7B and other open models. We've improved the caching of training data from cloud storage to parallel store, delivering up to 3.9 times faster training and fine tuning times. Finally, I'm excited to announce a new block storage offering tailor-made for AI called Hyperdisk ML. Suitable for inference and training across hundreds or even thousands of instances, Hyperdisk ML can serve up to 1.2 terabytes per second of aggregate throughput by automatically replicating and caching the data across the storage servers. Hyperdisk ML delivers up to 12 times faster model load times for inferencing than common alternatives. I'm super excited to invite Salesforce to join us on stage here now to share how they have used these capabilities within their organization. So please join me in welcoming Shushma and Srinath from Salesforce. Thanks, Mark. It's great to be here with you and share our experience with all of you. Starting in 2019, we began utilizing Google Cloud Platform's TPUs to scale our models to billions of parameters in size. Since then, we have used TPU V2, V3, and V4. Uh, we are using the latest generation TPU V5. In fact, just last week, uh, we got the results from our early testing. We are seeing uh, the training time cut down almost in half for our foundational models and we are still improving. So AI is clearly top of mind for all of us right now. But we also know that for many of you, the vast majority of your workloads are the ones, uh, that, the ones that you use to keep your business running are cloud-first applications and, and enterprise applications. Titanium uniquely combines smart accelerators on host with a tier of off-host scale-out servers. We're excited to introduce C4 and N4, the next generation general purpose VMs powered by fifth generation Intel Xeon processors. These are the first such VMs from any leading cloud hyperscaler. As a result, C4 delivers 19% better price performance compared to other leading cloud providers and also has up to 80% better CPU responsiveness for real-time workloads. N4 delivers lower computing costs overall while still offering 18% better price performance compared to our prior generation N2 instances. We're excited to announce that our new Z3 storage-optimized instances are now GA. 
They support up to 36 terabytes of high performance local SSD with 6 million read and 6 million write IOPS. Some of our customers and our ISV partners need tightly controlled process execution with direct access to the CPU. To meet this need, we're really pleased to announce C3 Metal instances. With configurations up to 32 terabytes of memory, X4 is our largest memory optimized instance. And with an industry leading three and a half nines single instance SLA, X4 instances are ready for the most mission critical SAP deployments. That's why today we're really excited to announce Google Axion processors, our first Google custom designed ARM based CPUs. And uh, actually, someone let me borrow one from the keynote this morning, so I also have one to show here live in person. Pretty cool. <laughs> Axion instances deliver up to 30% better performance than the fastest general purpose ARM based instances available from other leading clouds. Axion instances also offer up to 50% better performance than comparable current generation x86 based instances and are 60% more energy efficient than comparable x86 based instances. Customers who have the new VMware Cloud Foundation subscription on-prem can now save over 30% by avoiding the need to buy new licenses. We're excited to be the only cloud to offer these savings and this flexibility to our customers. Today, I'm pleased to announce general availability of Hyperdisk advanced storage pools. Combined with thin provisioning of the storage to the VM and with dedupe and compression within that common shared storage pool, we can achieve dramatically higher storage utilization and over 50% cost savings for customers in typical scenarios. Google Cloud, again, is the only leading cloud that offers such storage capacity pools. So that brings me to our newest offering, Gemini Cloud Assist. This is our new generative AI assistant for Google Cloud operators. We're thrilled to bring AI assistance to help you design, optimize, and operate Google Cloud. Let's welcome Jeff Welsh to the stage to give us a peek at it. I'm very excited to talk about Gemini Cloud Assist today because to me, it feels like we're at the precipice of maybe a new era of computing. In order to help communicate this, I'd like to do some demonstrations. As I can see, my average CPU utilization is, say, around 30%. So I have some headroom here. I might want to optimize this deployment and say, allow my instances to support up to 70% of traffic, and then also maintain my cost by restricting the total VMs to 12. I can ask um, Gemini for support in this regard as well to say, help me set the target CPU utilization at 70% and the max VMs at 12. So again, Gemini now with this very specific command can tell me exactly how to perform that. Now, it has created a G Cloud instance or a command to do so. I can copy this to the command shell and execute this just as I could create an instance. Wow, that, that's, uh, that's fantastic. Awesome, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you. Collectively, as an industry, we're at a very, very exciting time. I hope you found this session useful for you and for your business.